What's happening, YouTube fam? It's Iconic, and today I'm finally giving you some testing on the wizard. Today we're going to be looking at the four piece Seeds of Sown set. And this is going to do continually channeling a skill against the same enemy gradually increases the damage of that skill up to a maximum of 30%. After you stop channeling a skill, enemies hit by it takes an additional explosion damage for 30% of the damage dealt to them by that channeled skill. So for Wizard, I think this is going to be very OP for Disintegrate. I'm going to be running a double beam build today. I want to see what it does to Ray of Frost too as well. Um, even though it's gotten buffed a little bit, it actually still feels pretty weak to me. Um, so we're going to see how it, how it works with Ray of Frost and Disintegrate. Um, but we've got for our Essences, Teleport also increases your damage by 10%. Lightning Nova hurls Balls of Fire. Disintegrate now channels fire, burning enemies for additional damage over time. Disintegrate channels up to three additional beams. Disintegrate damage increased by 19%. Casting Lightning Nova temporarily increases your movement speed by 60%. Disintegrate range increased by 29%. And Magic Missile fires two additional missiles. So this isn't necessarily um, a complete setup. I mainly just want to test out the two beams here. So there's a lot of different things I think you could potentially do with this build, but this is how I'm rocking with it right now. Uh, for my Paragon tree, we are still using Weaver. I think we're going to leave that just to kind of see if it works, even though I'm probably not throwing in too many primary attacks. Um, I know when I tested it before and one of um, my last videos, it definitely seems like that Paragon tree is busted. So I kind of want to take a look at that myself as well. But um, if you're solo here, you could potentially be using Duelist 2 as well, I think would be another good choice. Um, you could also go with Vanquisher, I think, too, as well would be another decent choice. If you're running in a party, you have some other options, too, as well. But solo, um, I'd look at Vanquisher or Duelist, and we're going to kind of look, too, as well to see if uh, Weaver's getting any stacks. So we're going to run into an Elder Rift here first, um, mainly for the mob density here. All right, so let's check this out. Let's see what we get. Got a pack of elites here. Let's round up some enemies. Ooh, got a yellow as well. Ooh, got another pack of blues. We got real lucky on this one. All of you come over here, come to Papa. Wow, what? We're joking, right? That beam is deadly. Wow. I couldn't even tell it happened so quick. I don't know if I got any stacks or not um, for the Weaver tree. But check, check this out. I mean, I barely had to tap the beam. As soon as you let it go, they, they're exploding for additional damage, which is, is taking them out. Um, it does look like just from just Disintegrate, I'm telling you, this Weaver Tree is broken. I'm getting stacks from just tapping Disintegrate. All right, let's see what Ray of Frost looks like. You know, that's not bad now either, um, especially when, for me, I have my Mother's Lament gem. Um, I, I didn't really cover the gems, but there definitely is a wide variety of combinations you can use here. But yeah, uh, the Ray of Frost actually isn't too bad either. So we might have a viable solution um, to go back into our double beam build. Let's see how quick we burn down the boss. I am going to use my lightning over here just to get pain class propped already. And if we didn't get hit, like, I mean, for a boss of just disintegrate, disintegrate on its own for a few ticks is pretty good. But when it comes to like taking down something with a lot of HP, it actually didn't used to do a crazy amount of damage. Like when you thought about holding disintegrate for 
four, five, six seconds, however long it takes to get through a whole whole channel of it. All right, we're gonna go take a look at a dungeon boss next. Um, I suspect it's probably not gonna be as good in a solo scenario. This is where I really like to test things out to see how much damage we're really doing. But we're gonna check it out here in a solo dungeon and, and see what happens. All right, let's take a look at Leoric here, see what we get. I'm going to do the Ray of Frost first and then come back with the Disintegrate. You know, so far, not too bad, actually. I am using everything um, at my disposal here just to kind of test it out as a whole, but... This actually is, is pretty good. All right. Uh, you're hearing it here from me first. I know some other people have, have tested this out too, but this is pretty OP for wizard. Um, I can definitely see this being pretty crazy inside of PVP. I haven't gotten a chance to test it out and sadly I won't be able to test it out before I swap to blood Knight tomorrow, but we'll circle back to the wizard. I'm um, do some proper testing with this because I, I think wizards just got crazy buffed, especially with the new crystal essences that have come out. Um, you've got this, you can go all in on disintegrate. I mean, you can have the range, you can have the extra crystal duration. There's, there's probably some pretty good things for double beam wizards and crystal wizards again. All right. As always, if you guys like the content, if you appreciate what I'm doing, you already know what to do. I'll catch you guys on the next one.